days alive. Hellified gun lying to you. Hellified fake news lying to you. You see, all working for the same team. All got the same goal in mind. To bring about the beast himself, the Antichrist. Mr. 666, bring him about. That's what all this system's working on. <clears throat> You just had the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you just had the Baphomet Bowl slash the Stupid Bowl. That's what that's about. Mind psyops to bring in the beast system. That's what they wish. Give them bread in the circus. For the mindless masses. Keep them distracted, but also program for what's coming. Conditioning you. You have persecuted the meek and hurt the peaceful. You have hated those who tell the truth and love lies. Lies got promoted in, in this system. We had one of the greatest lying presidents, uh, that, that guy that came before uh, President Trump. I can't remember his name right now. I mean, greatest liar in history. One of them. At that stage when you're lying, you're, to me, you're a sociopath. You, you, actually, you actually could pass a, a lie detector test. Uh, and, the, and also the Jezebel witch, throw her in there too for lying. That was running for office. <clears throat> Whatever name is. Call him what's a name. Throw the what's a name in there. They're in the dust being a history right now. Name, like I said, the name of the wicked shall rot. They got us in all these wars, and perpetual wars, through lying. Sold these souls to the devil a long time ago and tried to sell this nation out <clears throat> to any Tom, Dick, and Hank around the world. Treason is a lie. He's facing justice right now. That's what God is saying. God's doing this. He raised up <clears throat> President Trump to execute, just like he raised up Jew to take care of that Jezebel. In the Bible, that was corrupt. Her and Ahab. God eventually get around to you, but He'll say enough already with you. We read that the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Those that read the Bible, from the flood to Him bringing fire and destroying His earth with fire and everything. Enough already. You have persecuted the meat, hurt the peaceful. You have hated those who tell the truth and love lies. You have destroyed the dwellings of the fruitful and torn down the walls of those who did you no harm. Well, it's a big issue going on with the wall now. God is definitely for walls. <clears throat> walls in heaven with gates. It's a walled city. Hell, I don't recall any walls in hell. It does say the gates of hell, so I must assume there's something there. They got a gate. Something got to be attached to it. Usually a wall of some type. Insolence, okay, here we go. You have destroyed the dwellings of the fruitful and torn down the walls of those who did you no harm. Attacking the innocent, unprovoked, and your insolence. Pay close attention to this. This is why I wanted to read this. Actually, I want to read this just to get to this line, the last line right here. And your insolence has reached the most high. You got God's attention now with your insolence. 
Which are you, Bruce? Which are downright rotten to the core evil that you've done. Your insolence has reached the most high. You can get God's attention by being evil. And these people certainly have. And your insolence has reached the most high. And your pride, the mighty one. <clears throat> Devil's the father of pride. It was vanity and pride that got us in this condition with our forefathers, Adam and Eve. Wanting to be God. That's pride. Putting God, put yourself before God. That's pride. Putting yourself on the throne. Trying to push God off. It's all pride. Ego sin. That's why Jesus said, if any man come after me, you got to deny himself. Take up a cross. It's only good to die on and follow him. Die to yourself. And your big fat ego. He else your pride or reach up to God. The Bible says God resists the pride. To give a grace to the honor. Second Peter 5. 8, I believe. God resists the pride. Pride go up before destruction. Give my teaching taught on pride. <clears throat> I get the video humility in another video where I taught on uh, on pride. I can't recall it offhand, but you can look it up. On the social media, say, therefore, you will surely disappear. Well, hold on, let me read that again. And the Most High, let me be back up. And your insolence has reached the Most High, and your pride. That's so, that's so, that is so pertaining to the day. That is, this is what we're dealing with now. We had a prideful mob that hijacked this country. And their insolence has reached up to the Most High. They didn't. They were. Invincible. No, everybody can be reached out and touched. But they was high on their thrones with pride. And their hubris have reached up to the king man where he's judging him right now. And your insolence have reached the most high and your pride, the monument. And the most high has looked at his times, and behold, they are ended. And his ages are completed. The clock has wound down. The sand in the hourglass has run out. We're on borrowed time as it is. Time's up. Christ can come. And I believe in the rapture just calling. We take his church out of here. Prophecy has been fulfilled right in front of your eyes. God's granted an extension through His grace because He said the church isn't ready yet. He was to come. Over 90 some percent would be left if the rapture was to take place today. The church is became a recreation center, mortuary, and everything else. But a revolutionary band of people like we read about in Acts 2 to turn the world upside down. Everything but that. The Bible said the blind be leaders of blind all fall into the ditch. And it came, let me read it. And the Most High has looked at his times, and behold, they are ended. And his ages are completed. God's a God of set times. Read that from one end of the book to the other. It's not, not to throw a spaghetti on the wall and see what kind of stick kind of God. God got a clock. He got a, his clock bigger than ours. The Bible said, day with the Lord is a thousand years, a thousand years is a day. His, his days are thousands of years. But we're come up on the end of his clock in thousands of years. But at that base of kingdom is over 2,520 years. There's a clock set on the beast king. And the Most High has looked at his times, and behold, they are ended, and his ages are completed. Therefore, you will surely disappear, you evil, and your dreadful wings, and your wicked additional wings, 
and your malignant head. It's God talk. To this, this uh, evil eagle head. <laughs> evil eagle head. With its, with its dreadful wings. Therefore you will surely disappear, you evil, and your dreadful wings, and your wicked additional wings, and your malignant heads, and your cruel talons. An eagle can rip you in half with his talons. There's been a council, eagles flying away with uh well, killing grown men, but flying away with boys. He was pretty strong and dangerous. They, you know, they love to go for the eyes. Rip your eyes out, but you can't see. They beat and tear into your flesh easily, as well as they tell us to. It can rip you apart. And the eagle's a pretty big bird. <laughs> And his wings got pinions and needles. So it's stabbing you with his wings when it's beating his wings. It ain't just flapping his wings and flapping. Those are weapons too. Little spears in his wings. But this is what we're dealing with. This eagle beast, a lot of call Eagle kingdoms, the wicked eagle kingdom. Therefore will you surely disappear, evil in your dreadful wings, and your wicked additional wings, and your malignant heads, and your cruel talents, and your whole worthless body. <laughs> God said there's a worthless body. This is how God looks at the beastly kingdom of this earth. He let rule. Worthless. So that the whole earth may be freed from your violence. Amen. It's God talking, the big boss, the big Jew. And be refreshed and relieved. A jubilee. That's why I taught on jubilee. And hope for the justice and mercy of him who made her. That's God. And it came to pass while the lion was saying these words to the evil. That I looked and behold the head that had been left disappeared. And the two wings had gone over it. Lifted themselves up to rain. And their rain was short. And full of uproar. And I looked and behold, they also, and they also disappeared, and the whole body of the evil was burned. Now, when do you think that's going to happen? Now, the two little wings that were left that tried to rise up, no doubt, would be the Antichrist and the false prophet, the two, two beasts. And I looked. Also, and it also disappeared, and the whole body of the evil was burned, and the earth was panic stricken. Then, because of great disturbance of mind and great fear, I woke and said to my spirit, Now, God talked about fire coming down out of heaven, and Babylon falling, and the people crying, finally destroying the Babylonian system. That enslaved mankind that was cruel. To go back to Nimrod. We want to go way back. To set up this ancient beast kingdom. That we've been dealing with. For thousands of years. That ancient old cult. His wicked wife Samaritans. And uh, Thomas. Then because of the great disturbance of mind and great fear, I awoke and said to my spirit, Behold, you have brought this up on me because you have tried, because you tried to search out the ways of the Most High. Behold, I am still weary in mind and very weak in my spirit, and there is not the least strength left in me because of the great fear which I felt this night. So now I will entreat the Most High to strengthen me to the end. Okay, I just wanted to read that and let you know. This is the book, The Apocrypha. To let you know God's in control of this beast system. 
and you're watching, then we're living in biblical times as God's judging right now. And you're looking at the end. And the Antichrist is going to come. He's been pushed back for now. But he's, he's going to come. Him and the false prophet. I don't know when. I couldn't tell. Oh, I can tell you we're living in biblical times right now. All prophecy pretty much has been fulfilled with the exception of what you heard me teach on. And if I say you get that teaching, I'm not going to reiterate that. You get the age of the beast and age of the uh, false prophet. Excuse me, age of the beast and age of Christ. I also taught on the false prophet. You get that too, the false prophet. That's the title. All right. And I hope this has inspired you to hang in here as warriors. And he'll push this eagle head back, this eagle, this beast system back. That's what our job is. We're the restraining force. The Bible said we're the restraining animal, right? Pushing back. And he'll be unveiled when we're out of here. The Antichrist can't come to power until the church is gone. God's not going to pour his wrath out on his, his body. He's going to take us out of here. That's what the rapture is. Get my teaching on the rapture. You don't know what I'm talking about. Now, if I'm the one that taught you, me, you've been sitting under this ministry and learning, and you haven't given a dime yet, God looking at you a thief and a robber. According to Galatians 6.6, 6. if I've taught you spiritual things, no big thing to ever see carnal things from you, material things. This is where you get your spiritual food. This is where you learn the Bible that you didn't know. Teaching you something you didn't know before, that's how you know you learn. Teaching you how to critically think for yourself regarding the scripture and the law. What's it worth to? Now, get my teaching on giving. If you're a babe and you start now, get my teaching on tithing, first fruits, alabaster box. So many have perverted that. That's what Satan does. He's called the perverse one, is what his name. To put that which belongs in front behind that which belongs behind the front. That's what pervert means. Turn everything around backwards. He's backwards. His religion is backwards. It's anti everything God stands for. That's what Satanism, Satanism is all about. Going in reverse. Perverting everything God intended to be holy. Including teaching. Now he's really done damage there. With the uh, the Mammonites, I like to call them. Serving the demon man. God, God agreed. The little G agreed. And he so turned people off on giving God's way. But that's how God's blessing comes through sacrifice, part of worship, shipping of works. The old shipping word. Word ship, shipping works. Word ship. Shipping of works. And you can't do no greater than shipping a word than to give money. It's what the, the pagans understood that with the temple prostitutes. Is they laid money for, for sex on the altar. That they did is they're demon gods. They understand that. I thought Christians can't understand. If God got your heart, he got your pocket book. You know, she's just fooling herself. God gave himself for the world to save those few out of the world that he's chosen. And his son gave his life to save us. What's a few trinkets in his life to the one that taught you, that's teaching you about eternal life and how to get there. If you get material things. Now, I did plenty of teaching on gift and I'm going to start putting it up on the site. Because you're slacking in that area. All right. Good day, good evening, good night to you around the world. May you grow in faith in Jesus' name.